Soon after debuting on the PGA Tour, Tiger Woods became a dominant force on the American golf circuit. In the course of 10 years between 1996 and 2006, he registered 54 victories, including 12 major golf tournaments. Just recently, Nuclear Golf shared a throwback video of Tiger Woods' incredible birdie on par 18 to defeat another top golfer at the time, Phil Mickelson, at the Bay Hill Invitational 2001, now known as Arnold Palmer Invitational. At the 2001 Bay Hill Invitational, Tiger Woods needed a par on 18 to force a playoff against Phil Mickelson. He made birdie. Tiger Woods and Phil Mickelson, two renowned figures in the world of golf, known for their exceptional talent and fierce rivalry. Tiger Woods perseveres through Torrey Pines and wins a third U.S. Open championship. Eldrick Taunt Woods was born December 30, 1975 in Cypress, California and was brought up in Orange County. His father nicknamed him Tiger in honor of a Vietnamese army pilot who he had served. Tiger was raised Buddhist and this instilled him with self-discipline. Early on, before he even reached age two, his father introduced him to golf by 1978. Tiger's golf talent placed him in the media spotlight that year. He played against comedian Bob Hope on daytime television by age five. Woods' skill earned him appearances in Golf Digest and on ABC's programs. That's incredible. Before his seventh birthday, he completed in an under 10 pitch putt and drive competition and won. He continued winning numerous other events before he beat his father when he was only 11. In 1994, he earned a golf scholarship to Stanford University. After two years and several more amateur golf wins, Woods finally went pro in 1996. It wasn't long before he scored several record-breaking endorsement deals, including a 40 million payday from Nike. In 1997, at age 20 and 21, Tiger Woods became the youngest ever winner of the Masters, with a record score of 18 under par. Not only that, he was also the tournament's first African American and Asian American winner. Tigers is quoted as saying, This is an amazing day for not only myself, but I think for my family. Mom and Pop, I love you. After only 42 weeks as a pro, Woods took the top spot on the official World Golf Rankings. This was the fastest rise to number one in sports history. In 1999, he began one of the longest win streaks in golf when he dominated four consecutive events to end the year. In 2000, Woods cleaned up at the British Open, the US Open, and the PGA Championship, and in 2001, he won the Masters. Phil Mickelson, born June 16, 1970, San Diego, California, USA, is an American professional golfer who became one of the most dominant players on the Professional Golfers Association of America (PGA) tour in 1990s and early 2000s. Mickelson took to golf at an extremely young age, hitting his first golf balls when he was just 18 months old. He learned the basics of the sport by mirroring his father's swing, which led the naturally right-handed Phil to adopt the left-handed stroke that would later lead to his nickname Lefty. He won dozens of San Diego area tournaments as a junior golfer, and he captured an unprecedented three consecutive National Junior Player of the Year awards, 1986, 1987, and 1988 respectively. His golfing prowess earned him a full scholarship to Arizona State University, ASU, where he established a reputation as one of the greatest American amateur golfers of all time. Mickelson was named first team All-American in each of his four years at ASU, and he won three National Collegiate Athletic Association NCAA individual championships, 1989, 1990, and 1992 respectively. In 1990, he won the U.S. Amateur Championship, and the following year, he won his first PGA Tour event, the Northern Telecom Open, becoming only the fourth amateur to win a PGA tournament. Mickelson joined the PGA Tour in 1992. His first professional win came in 1993 at Torrey Pines Golf Course in San Diego, where he had played golf matches in high school. Mickelson won at least one tournament in each of the following three years, and he finished the 1996 PGA season with his first top 10 world ranking, seventh. He rose to second in the rankings in 2001, finishing behind Tiger Woods. The two golfers developed a rivalry that came to dominate the sport throughout the decade as the outgoing Mickelson and the more reserved Woods divided golf fans with their disparate personalities and approaches to the game. 
Despite his great success on the tour, Mickelson gained a reputation as the best player in the world to have never won a major tournament, the Masters, the US Open, the British Open, Open Championship, or the PGA Championship a distinction made more burdensome by his finishing second or third in six majors between 1999 and 2003. He finally broke through with a major victory in 2004, when he won the Masters by one stroke over Ernie Els. His Mickelson waited just one year for a second major win, the 2005 PGA Championship, which he followed with a victory in the very next major, the 2006 Masters. In April 2010, Mickelson won his third green jacket as Masters champion, placing himself into a tie with four others for the third highest career total in the tournament's history. Mickelson fell off slightly after his third Masters victory, winning just one tournament each year from 2010 to 2012. In 2013, he made up a five-shot deficit on the final day of the British Open to capture his first victory in that tournament. He subsequently struggled and did not win another PGA Tour event until 2018. The following year, he claimed his 45th career PGA title with his victory at the Pebble Beach Pro-Am. During this time, he also competed in the Ryder Cup and was on the winning team in 1999, 2008, and 2016 respectively. In 2021, he won his sixth career major title, capturing the PGA Championship in his first tour victory in over two years. In doing so, he became, at age 50, the oldest winner of a major tournament in PGA history. At the 2001 Bay Hill Invitational, Tiger Mickelson, he made birdie. It happened during the final stage of the Bay Hill A six-year-old Woods had a terrible few shots in the final round, hitting two fairways. Then, on the 16th, he pulled out his 7-iron to hit the ball on the greens of par 5 to finally put a birdie and reflected back to the ground. He later picked up the ball and hit a 195-yard shot that landed him 15 feet near the hole. He, then, sank an unbelievable birdie to defeat Mickelson. Interestingly, Woods has won the Arnold Palmer Invitational, formerly known as Bay Hill Invitational, eight times in his career. This is tied for the most victories in a single event on the PGA Tour. Well, comparing Tiger Woods and Phil Mickelson is tough, as both of them are modern legends of golf. However, the latter is way behind Woods. On one side, where Woods has 82 PGA Tour titles registered to his name, Mickelson has won 45 titles under his belt, which is just more than half of the former. Tiger Woods has an impressive record with 15 major wins in his career. He secured five Masters tournament victories, 1997, 2001, 2002, 2005, and 2019 respectively. Four PGA Championship wins, 1999, 2000, 2006, and 2007, respectively. Three U.S. Open titles, 2000, 2002, and 2008, respectively, and three Open Championship victories, 2000, 2005, and 2006, respectively. He has achieved three career Grand Slams by winning all the majors at least three times. On the other hand, Phil Mickelson has six major wins to his name. He has three Masters tournament victories, 2004, 2006, and 2010, respectively, two PGA Championship wins, 2005 and 2021, respectively, and an Open Championship win in 2013. However, he is yet to secure a U.S. Open title. As per Forbes, Tiger Woods has a whopping net worth of $1.8 billion, which included $121 million won on course on the PGA Tour. Meanwhile, Phil Mickelson is way behind and has a net worth of $400 million, as per Golf Monthly. However, he has a massive on-course earning of $94 million on the PGA Tour, and if he had not switched to LIV Golf, he might have surpassed Tiger Woods in this aspect, as the latter does not compete regularly now. In February 1998, Tiger Woods played a practice round with Phil Mickelson ahead of the Nissan Open at the Valencia Country Club in California, when both men were in their 20s. The pair had agreed to a bet, with the winner taking $500 from the other. By the end of the round, Mickelson emerged victorious. He celebrated by putting photocopies of his five winnings $100 bill into Wood's locker with a note that read, Just wanted you to know Benji and his friends are very happy in their new home. Woods seethed, writes author Bob Harrig in his new book, Tiger and Phil, Golf's Most Fascinating Rivalry, St. Martin's Press, out this month. 
noting that pros wouldn't play another practice round together until 20 years later in the 2018 Masters. The complex relationship between the two greatest players of their generation has fascinated the golf world for decades, with their lives and careers intrinsically linked. Yet, the two men couldn't be more different. Mickelson, 51, is a white country club kid with an airline pilot for a dad. Woods, 46, is mixed race with parents who took out a second mortgage just to help their son make it in the sport. Mickelson is famous for signing autographs till his pen runs out of ink. Woods is known for being standoffish and aloof. Mickelson is a family man with three children who took time off to care for his wife Amy when she was diagnosed with cancer in 2009. Woods was exposed as a philanderer when his wife, Ellen, chased him out of their house with his own golf club and used it to smash the windows of his car. Theirs isn't a rivalry in the classic sense, Herrick writes, but Woods has always been aware of Mickelson, and Mickelson has certainly always been aware of Woods. The two men do have a few similarities. They were both born in California, and both were destined for greatness. Woods, the son of a Vietnam veteran and a Thai mother, was groomed for golf as soon as he could walk. When he left Stanford University after just two years to turn pro in 1996, he had a $40 million contract from Nike and Titleist waiting for him. Mickelson was a right-hander who played the game left-handed, a super competent superstar collegiate golfer at Arizona State University who honed his skills on his own personal practice facility in his backyard. And yet, despite 45 tour wins, including six majors, and raking in nearly $100 million in prize money alone, Mickelson has never made it to number one in golf's world rankings, despite being in the top 10 for 700 weeks and spending Mickelson's career would be the stuff of legend. In this time, he's nearly always been known as second best. I often wonder what my career would be had he not come along, Mickelson said in November 2018. The 2001 Masters, when Woods completed the Tiger Slam of holding all four major titles simultaneously, is a case in point. Paired together in the final round, Mickelson played the best golf of his life in the first nine holes, but Woods kept him at bay, eventually grinding him down and taking the green jacket. It was really freaking hard to play Tiger back then, Mickelson later admitted. In a 2003 Golf Magazine interview, Mickelson mocked Woods' clubs, which the golfing champion had helped design as inferior and then paid him a backhanded compliment, saying he was the only player good enough to overcome the equipment he stuck with. Woods' response was curt. Phil can try to be a smart aleck at times, he quipped. Even though the antipathy between the two men is well known, Ryder Cup captain Hall Sutton paired the two together for the biennial Europe vs. USA contest in 2004. I felt like history needed it. I felt like the fans needed it. And, most of all, I felt like Phil Mickelson and Tiger Woods needed it, Sutton said at the opening ceremony. But what started out as the dream team soon became more Laurel and Hardy as Woods and Mickelson sulked and scowled their way through two dismal performances, ending their partnership barely on speaking terms as the US fell to Europe in a humiliating home defeat. If it weren't for the uniform, you wouldn't even have known they were teammates, writes Herrick. Herrick writes that Woods has strained relations most over the years arguing that it could be Mickelson's image as the man of the people he finds most Gaelic. Nobody will say that Tiger hated Phil, he writes, but there was a strong dislike. At times, it seemed as though Woods enjoyed the spell he held over Mickelson. When Mickelson blew a golden opportunity on the final hole to win the US Open at Winged Foot, New York in 2006, Woods, having missed the halfway cut, was spending the weekend watching the final rounds on TV from his yacht. Privately, Woods texted an acquaintance to get a sense for what happened, writes Herrick, and derisively asked what body part Mickelson tripped over. To this day, Mickelson has never won the US Open, the only one of the four majors he has failed to claim. Today, Woods and Mickelson enjoy a much friendlier relationship, which the latter attributes to the 2016 Ryder Cup, where Woods was a non-playing assistant captain and Mickelson a team member. For once, the tiger Phil dynamic saw them on the same side, Likely a more difficult leap for Woods than it was for Mickelson, writes Herrick. He spent the better part of 20 years keeping Phil at a par 5 distance. Now, not only did they exchange phone numbers, but they were also regularly texting each other to discuss strategy. Both men, despite their advancing years and issues off the golf course, remain the biggest draws in golf. That's why they were only participating in 2018's The Match, as made for TV, winner takes all, contest over 18 holes at Shadow Creek in Las Vegas, 
which Mickelson won in sudden death, taking the $9 million prize. In 2019, Woods won the Masters after a majorless drought stretching back to 2008 when he took the US Open with a broken leg, while Mickelson won the PGA Championship at the age of 50, the oldest ever winner of a major title. But they're still gunning for each other. On March 2nd, Woods won $8 million when he edged out Mickelson to score the PGA Tour's inaugurary Player Impact Program Award and tweeted him saying, whoops. Embarrassingly, Mickelson thought he had already won it. I'd like to thank all the crazies, and real supporters too, for helping me win the PIP, he wrote on Twitter before realizing his mistake. Worse still, in April 2022, Mickelson missed his first Masters in 28 years, while five-time championship Woods gets ready to tee it up for the first time on tour since he was seriously injured in a car crash near LA last year. Mickelson took a break from the game after admitting he made reckless comments about a Saudi Arabian golf tour he was meant to be backing. Watching his great rival hit the course without him will feel almost as painful as playing against him and losing. I enjoyed and loved playing against Tiger at his best, Mickelson said after Woods beat him in the final round of the Doral Tournament in Miami, Florida in 2005. It was fun. Just don't like the result. The result sucks. In conclusion, the intense love-hate rivalry between Tiger Woods and Phil Mickelson has captivated golf fans worldwide for years. Their fierce competition on the course has highlighted their respective strengths and weaknesses, creating a gripping narrative of triumphs and setbacks. Despite their conflicting personalities and approaches to the game, their shared passion for golf has elevated both players to legendary status. Ultimately, their rivalry showcases the endless drama and excitement that comes with elite sports competition.